Hello. Hello. How's it going? It's going good. How are you doing? Prepared? No, yeah, some. Someone? A little bit. Let's just say I won't be doing uh, interviews for a while after this. <laughs> I don't blame you. Do not blame you. I'm gonna get rid of my little timer here. Oops. Wait. There we go. How do... Yeah, well, well, I guess I'm a little early, but I just want to make sure there's no technical difficulties. I think everybody can hear us. Double type spork if you can hear us. I see a lot of people saying hello. Spork. There we go. They're all saying spork. Last time it was spoons. So. Hold on. Where Where is this chat going on? Uh, it's on the stream. If you want to oh, look okay. it up on the Twitch website and just mute it. Or, I don't know. I can read some questions after. Um, the ten questions you see on the screen are the ones we're going to be asking you. Um, if you oh, hold on, like let me mute it. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> All right. Sorry for putting you on the spot. It's all right. You can tell I don't uh, get into streaming things very often. That's okay. I don't do it very often either. So I'm going to ask you the 10 questions, and if you feel like it afterwards, we can take a couple of questions from the Twitch stream chat, but only if you feel like it. I know you're not super keen on that kind of thing, so. <laughs> yeah, sure. No problem. Okay. So I guess we'll get right into it. If you want to introduce yourself to all the lovely folks out there. Sure. Um, I am uh, Dish Rex. Uh, my real name is David. Uh, my middle name is Rex, though. That's where that comes from. But um, I am the lead developer at Lifeboat. There you awesome. go. All right. I'm Molly. I'll be asking you the questions. Okay. So number one, when will Skyblock be updated? Um, the Skyblock, the new Skyblock, uh, will hopefully be in beta in the next couple weeks. It is um, uh, being tested right now by a bunch of people. Uh, so, uh, it, though it will it will come in phases. Um, so they'll it'll start with the beta, then uh, there'll be. Um, different phases to uh, some of the things we're adding to it uh, so we'll be doing some new things um, so yeah it should be in the next little while here for sure wonderful okay number two how do you cope with the server management do you ever find it stressful and if so why do you find it stressful this is like a whole bunch of questions and do you feel like you could improve the management abilities, or do you feel uh, they're already top notch? Um, so yeah, there, there's a lot of questions in there, but I'll start. Uh, I'll start with the this, the second two. Uh, can it be stressful? Absolutely. Um, sometimes more than not. I mean, there's Minecraft being updated all the time, so there's deadlines of protocol updates. Uh, updating all of our servers and then there's a lot of moving parts to just the network as a whole so uh, th servers can be crashing uh, APIs going down a bunch of different issues like that so uh, that's all stressful um, and then daily I get yeah I get a ton of ton of messages uh, there's a bunch of drama going on um, some negativity so that can that can be stressful but uh, there's a a ton of things to do a ton of things to fix and um, you could work 60 hours a week for the next year and I, I still won't have my to-do list done 
so it can be stressful, but to cope, to, to answer the first question, to cope with something like that, um, you can uh, look at things um, that you can get done that week and that need to get done that week um, and, and tackle what you can. And you'll still get a sense of achievement, but uh, if you look at it, uh, like I just said, if you never can get to your to-do list, you're just going to feel defeated. So it's also uh, to cope, too, with, with I mean, this can be anything with, with school or anything stressful, um, getting a good, good workout in the morning um, gives you a, a brighter outlook on the day. So I suggest doing that and drinking a lot of water and trying to stay away from crap food. But um, And then, do you feel you could improve your management abilities? Um, well, obviously, uh, you, in any aspect in life, you can improve uh, things. Though, um, throughout the years, I think we've we've uh, have done pretty good with with um, what I've been given. Lifeboat has gone through many stages um, and situations and, and trials. Uh, I mean, we've done peak player counts to some sketchy financial times to the whole partnering with with Microsoft process, which was a big ordeal. So there's been a lot of good achievements, but there's been also some strategic errors along the way. So definitely room for improvement. Um, as far as managing people, um, we've just built up a, a team of, of developers and some other people. So we'll have to revisit uh, that question in six months or so. Sounds great. I'm going to try and talk over the other people in the background. When will the new server software transition be complete? Um, that's, it's going in trans, it's going in phases. So there's already a select number of game types that are, that are done and transitioned. Um, unfortunately there are a couple, um, I won't say names that are going to be put on the back burner and updated later. Uh, so as far as, um, games on the new server software within the next, um, two months, everything that w we want to switch over will be switched over at that time. And then, yeah, I think more will, will come when, when a bunch of other things in the background are, are in place. Okay. So the fourth question is when will the in-game Discord rank be implemented once again? Uh, that one kind of got lost in the mix. Um, though I did talk to a couple people today and um, I'm waiting on one or two things, but other than that, it, it, it won't take take too much. So uh, next week, I think we can get that done. Ooh, sounds really fun. <laughs> um, number five, will there ever be a way to gift Uber Vi VIP and other lifeboat cosmetics to each other? That's something that we haven't actually discussed a lot. Uh, though that is definitely a possibility. Uh, we'll open up the discussion on it and um, if we, if, yeah, if we feel like that's something that, that players want to do, um, that'll, that could be something we can implement in the future for sure. That sounds really good. Um, number six, when Skyblock Legacy comes out, will we lose our islands, XP, coins, and paid items? There is a couple different layers to this question, uh, or to this answer. The, the old Skyblock, uh, we will keep running as long as we can. It's on the old server software. Uh, eventually, it'll die, and at that point, you'll, you will lose your islands and experience and coins. Uh, you will, however, never lose any of your paid items. And uh, um, when the new Skyblock comes out, uh, 
all those any paid items for the old sky block will will transfer over to that that as well okay awesome that was a good question uh from a lot of people uh what are the languages you use to program um these these vary i guess uh, from things i do in my personal time and and things at lifeboat uh but there there is a lot of mixed too and and one of the reasons i like lifeboat is there's a lot of and the things i do here is there is a lot of variety um in tools we use languages we use and, and things to learn uh so i guess both personally and uh at work we i use a lot of uh c++ uh, javascript typescript um php uh, c sharp uh, anything linux related like bash shell scripting um and yeah these are all vary for things like the the server software itself the proxy the tools we use uh apis etc uh java's thrown in the mix too we have some tools um written in java but i think that's the most of them yeah that's a lot <laughs> All right, number eight. Can we please add back some of the old removed games into the server? They used to be my favorites, such as Spleef, Walls, Fleet, and Battle Royale. Um, the short answer is yes. The 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 long answer is um, we'd love to to add back all of them, um, especially. Um, bounty hunter uh, but we're i mean we're constantly in discussion about um the right mix of games to have the right number of games to have and then um obviously these these all need to be would need to be rewritten for the new server software as well um so i can't give any definitive answer as to when or what games but there will be definitely some old old games added back okay number nine what are your plans to improve the server and to stop stealing ideas from creators like decisis i think he i think he pronounces it dices i asked him yeah um well th this is a great question uh well yeah, I'll I'll split that up into two parts, I guess. So, uh, speaking of Dicey's, if if you if you did listen to the interview I did with him, um, you'll know some of the plans to improve the server, um, which obviously include the game server itself, um, improving the proxy, uh, the matchmaking, communication with APIs, and then adding back or improving the party party system, adding back stats, um, things like that. Um, as far as stealing ideas from creators, not sure um, exactly what what they mean by that. So, if the original asker wants to elaborate, but um, I have three kids, a wife, I'm a foster parent. Um, aside from working and doing all the stuff for Lifeboat, um, I do zero watching of of YouTube gamers especially Minecraft ones, so um, I can't answer the second part of that. But if you do have any ideas, we'd love to hear them. And uh, yeah, I guess it wouldn't be listening to creators and taking ideas from them wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, in my opinion. But I haven't actually heard of him until he asked for the interview. Uh, before and I thought he meant an interview just like this um, like we did with rain a uh, couple weeks before he asked um, yeah yeah I think there was some confusion there but yeah I thought he wanted this and then he thought he was gonna come on to the stream and talk and I didn't understand that that's what he thought was going on so that's how that other video came about it was a big misunderstanding 
Um, moving on, anyways, number 10. I was wondering if there would be any more games added to the Lifeboat <coughs> server coming soon. Um, there will be, yes. Uh, uh, I cannot talk about uh, a couple of them. Um, some are some are new, some are uh, unique. Uh, so, yeah, the short answer is yes. There will, um, there still are the games we're switching over. Uh, creative mode uh, is going to be a complete rewrite and it's going to be quite a bit different than the current one it is right now. Um, but like I said before, we're we're always looking at new game ideas, evaluating the games we have and the mix. Um, so, But yes, there are a couple already in process. Awesome. And would you like to take um, any questions from the chat today, or are you are you? Um, sure, we can take a couple. I mean, I haven't been looking at any of them, but I don't think there are any questions yet. I wrote at the top of the channel. Please wait until the main twin questions have been asked. So, people listening, go ahead and type your questions now. Um, while we're waiting for them to type their questions, I actually have a curious question. Um, for the number eight, it was like, can we please add back some of the removed games into the server? Is it possible to, like, rotate the games every couple of months? Or would that be too much? Um, it is possible. And I th at, um, at one point, I forget when we, when we actually got rid of it, um, some of these games were, were um, we had an arcade mode where, uh, there were a bunch of these little games within the arcade, um, but we're so we're redoing a bunch of back-end infrastructure stuff. At that, when that's complete, um, I think we'll be in a much better position to uh, be able to well, one maybe bring back arcade mode and be able to offer all of them or rotate rotate some in and out. Um, but yes, that, that idea has been floated and uh, will be, we'll, we'll consider it in the future for sure. Awesome. So a nice amount of questions came through from the really high pixel. Why do you use the bee skin with the face in Minecraft? Um, I'm not sure. I... Well, I use a bunch of different skins. <laughs> I I use I have a bunch of different accounts, and I'm always on different devices. So, um, to be honest, I don't even uh, know half the time what skin I have. Uh, and our server also, if you um, if you join with a persona skin, uh, one of the things that, where you can change all the custom geometry on your body. Um, a lot of the time we will switch that out to one of um, li a lifeboat made skin. Um, so that could be happening from time to time as well. Okay. From Molly but, Rose. Oh, sorry. Did you have more? Oh, I was going to say, uh, I, 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 have, I have worn custom skins before, though, that, that people have made me. So um, I'm always looking for a good new skin. That's so fun. Um, from Molly Rose, what is your favorite game mode on Lifeboat? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I would say it was Battle Royale, though we don't have that right now. Uh, um, we are, there was a lot of custom things in there and a lot of, uh, um, weird things we had to do to to make that game happen and and i i think i thought it was fun and i i liked it a lot so uh though with the new with the new server software and then uh some of the new things in minecraft when we redo that it'll be a lot more custom resource pack stuff instead of um the the hacky ways we did it before so battle royale was my favorite um I don't spend a lot of time playing game, the games for fun because uh, there's j I do so much testing and playing just for work. It kind of takes the fun out of it. All right. 
Uh, from Blade Vision, do you have any future plans to implement ranks for various ranks like marketplace ranks and some staff ranks? Uh, we are, I mean, we're right now we're in the process of planning. We do have a whole new, new ranking system coming. Um, so some of that is being worked out right now. Uh, but we do plan to have more more uh, more things like that in the future. Awesome. Will the option to win prizes from survival game chests ever return? Probably not. At least not Same. the way we did did it for sure. Uh, though that was a. Um, I forget when we when we actually uh, moved away from that, but uh, I know a lot of players did get get into that. Uh, we we can look at doing some interesting things like that in the future, but uh, for now it's been tabled. Yes. All right, and it looks like the last question from the chat is: Will in-game ranks ever come back? There were these ranks for VIP plus to choose in game one of the game modes had this was capture the flag around 2015 to 2016 um, I'm not 100% sure of, of what they mean by that do they mean um, like individual game types had had VIP ranks um, if that's the case I'd say no uh, maybe some of the bigger games will have a rank associated with them for um, a lot of extra things uh, if the if the game type lends itself to be high, highly customizable like that. But and uh, I will address um, the. I am seeing a lot of questions, obviously, about lag, um, and that is being addressed. I'll just put that one out there too. Awesome. I think that's all of the questions. Um, Cause I don't see any more on the chat. So I think you're free to go if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for answering all of these questions. Yeah, for sure. And uh, thanks for collecting the questions. <laughs> Lots but, uh, of them came through, but a lot of them were like, What's your favorite smell? Hmm. And uh, we thought we should stick to server-sided questions for this one. Yes, I do get asked a lot uh, why I'm not more more active in in places like uh, Twitter and Discord, um, and it's yeah, a lot of that is just because I got too busy with a bunch of other things, uh, though. Like I said, in in the past couple of days, we do have a bigger team that we're building up and that we've built up the past couple months. So uh, expect, I think, from well, me and uh, either other developers or staff mem members um, within Lifeboat to be more active in in letting you guys know what's going on with the the server stuff and what's been fixed and what we're working on and things like that so um that is a goal at least to to be more active in that side of things it'll be fun to see you active in those yeah maybe maybe not <laughs> <laughs> we'll see right we'll see yeah um all right thank you so much for doing this interview I know it's a lot. Yeah, two two in a, in one week is probably more than I've done in the last year. So, I but just got a clarification on one of the questions about will in-game ranks ever come back? Um, they are talking about game-specific purchasable purchasable VIP. I don't know if that's what you were talking about. I'm not. Okay. Certain. Yeah, that it that is definitely. Um, what I was talking about there for the most part no so uber VIP is supposed to encompass all of all of what the the individual ones did um, but
but if if it's a big enough game and it lends itself well to um, being able to offer a, a good value for a game specific rank, then we'll look at doing it. Okay. Well, as a Minnesotan, goodbye. You know, long goodbye. <laughs> long goodbyes, yeah. right? Um, thank you very much again. Yep. No problem.